AVs are very important uh, because they allow us to do something that there really is no other means of doing. Uh, you can take these uh, basically free swimming untethered robots and send them into very far off remote hard to reach places such as underneath ice shelves. Uh, there's really no other way to gather these types of data sets. Um, yes, yeah, so, I mean it's, it's, it's offering a view that, uh, that doesn't exist without this technology. We're studying the Salzdor Glacier because it's a really good uh, test bed environment for an AUV. It's close to Davis Station, meaning that the logistics is simpler and it provides a small compact analogy for the larger ice shelves that we hope the AUV will visit in the future. Ice shelves are difficult environments to research. They're dangerous and crevassed. What we really need is a, a robotic solution and an AUV is one way to do this. It travels underneath the ice shelf and measures you know, important quantities without putting people at risk. Well now that we've shown this capability and the experience we got from working down uh, by the Sorzel this year, uh, I think it's moving on to bigger and better, uh, more ambitious, uh, larger ice shelves, uh, further reaches underneath the ice, deeper water uh, would be all within our grasp now. There are very few people who have done this. Uh, the list is growing, but growing very slowly. Uh, primarily, we have the auto sub program out of the UK, which were the pioneers and continue to be uh, kind of the forerunners. Uh, but now with that, the, we've added ourselves to the list of an AUV that's able to go underneath ice shelves, uh, along with some of our fr friends at the University of Gothenburg as well. Um, it is, but it's still a very small group uh, of AUVs that are out there doing this type of work.